Hello everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at my entire LEGO collection. That's every single set in this LEGO room. Uh, whether it be LEGO City, Creator Expert, Trains, uh, Marvel, Star Wars, absolutely everything. And uh, we're going to be doing that actually on a computer. We're going to be doing that upstairs on a really popular lego based website uh, known as brickset.com so let's head on upstairs and let's check out my lego collection okay so i've made my way upstairs here to the computer where we're on the brickset website which is your lego set guide it honestly is the best website well this and also brick link for buying but i find this is the best website for logging your collection. You can see this is uh, me right here. I'm Brixie on Brickset, and I have 1,305 minifigures. I have 179 official LEGO sets on my wanted list, and I have 593 LEGO sets in my collection. I like hovering over this tab right here, which is my sets, and you're gonna go to overview of your collection. This is gonna show an overview of our collection, we can see you own 593 items, 397 different items. So there is some duplication in there. And that's because I have my base plates logged and base plates uh, do count as sets. So that's why there's such a big difference there. You can also view your sets on graphs and different analysis tables and stuff like that. So right now, the size of your sets collection, my sets collection is ranked 11,877th in the world. Well, not in the world, that only takes into account uh, the people that actually log their web, uh, their collection on this website. Uh, we have piece counts for 390 of your sets. You own 271,012 pieces and I'm ranked 3,323rd in the world for piece count. So um, it's pretty funny how there's such a big difference between the uh, set ranking in which I'm in and the piece count ranking in which I'm in. Obviously, my collection has a lot larger sets than most of these people here. I would assume that's why I'm so far ahead in the piece count ranking. So yeah, there we go. That, that's pretty That's pretty huge. Uh, Three thousands in the, in the world or anyone who uses this website. And I'm going to say all major Lego collectors would use this website. And if you don't, I definitely recommend you, you should. Uh, the retail prices for the 343 sets that are logged is $27,828. Um, that is in US funds, and that's just the original retail prices um, for the uh, the sets that I own. It doesn't account for this, what they're worth now. Some have gone up, some have gone down, maybe because they're in an open, unsealed condition. Um, I own 1,305 minifigures, uh, 1,013 a difference. So the, the main difference here is like I own 100 Stormtroopers. So that's why there's uh, such a big spread in those numbers there. And it looks like 8,224th in the world is where I'm ranked in the minifig department. So that's where uh, my collection of Lego sits in the world analysis or on this uh, website from all the users. Let's check out all of the sets that I actually physically own, all 593 of them, although some of them might not be actually logged in here. So when I click on this, I'm able to view this in a list or a gallery or a table or uh, download it into a spreadsheet, which is really awesome. And I have it uh, sorted right now by number of pieces. So the largest sets like the Millennium Falcon and believe it or not, Ninjago City and the Imperial Star Destroyer are on top. And you can change this here. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a look at all the sets I have in overall ranking, or overall rating, sorry. So the ratings that people have given these sets. So the most popular or the highest rated set should be on the top of the heap here when I click this button and it loads. So let's load that up. And there we go, look at that. The number one ranked set that I have is from 2014. It's the Creator Expert Parisian Restaurant Modular Building. And then right up next to that is the Saturn V. Next up is the Green Grocer, the Playset Death Star, and the Fire Brigade. So these are the top ranking sets in my collection based off the ranking and reviews that people have left on this website. And then we have the Pet Shop, the Mandalorian Battle Pack, the Grand Emporium, the Sop with Camel, the Ferris Wheel, 
actually surprised to see the Mandalorian Battle Pack. It worked its way up here quite quickly as it's a brand new set and I own three of those. You'll see everything that I own is highlighted in green and then there's the quantity next to it as well. The Disney Castle, Hagrid's Hut, uh, the Quinjet, Imperial Shuttle Tidarium, the Building Crane way up top there, even above the Cafe Corner. This cargo plane is pretty uh, neat. It's uh, one of the few Technic sets that I own, the AT-AT Walker. I swear I have two of these. I do have two of these. Oh no, that's the one from 2010. I only have one of those ones. Uh, the Volkswagen Camper Van Creator Expert. This is the AT-AT Walker that I have two of. And then the, the Y-Wing. I absolutely love this set here. And there's a new UCS version of the A-Wing that's coming out right away. So we would be able to sort this however we wanted and we could even sort it by theme. You can see all the different themes that I have. Uh, so like 12 Marvel superheroes and you'll see that uh, Star Wars is the main uh, part of my collection sitting at 74 sets but I would be able to isolate this by theme but now we're just going to have a look at them um, uh, by rating. The Orthang Tower I really do like that set that's a fantastic set it's the biggest uh, Lord of the Rings set I believe I think it's the largest one. Um, that's another thing you can do is just click on here on the Lord of the Rings tag and we'll be able to see if it's the the biggest set by just sorting this by number of pieces descending and we can see that yes it is the largest lord of the rings lego set and then you'll see there's other ones in this realm here that are on my wanted list and we're gonna have a look at my entire wanted list at the top as well but let's continue through here through my collection you can see the epic dra dragon battle town hall fairground mixer assembly square the low rider a bunch of star wars stuff including uh the slave one the Lego truck, uh, TIE Fighter, R2-D2, Tower Bridge, Detective's Office. So you can see the um, at the top of the heap here and the top ranked stuff uh, or rated stuff is definitely um, some of the bigger uh, creator expert style sets. Why is Dean Thomas so highly ranked? I think that's a bit skewed. I do have four Dean Thomas and you can log your minifigures in here as well, but I don't think he should be way up here. Uh, there's the Metal Beards Sea Cow, the Slave 1 UCS. For example, I think the Slave 1 UCS should be above some of these other ones, especially Dean Thomas minifigure. That's a bit uh, skewed there. Uh, the Kryptonite Interception, the ATST Walker, ooh, the Ecto 1, that's a good one. So, this is my entire Lego collection right here. You can see there's, there's quite a few large sets. Um, the Ferrari, the Aston Martin, lots of those creator expert vehicles, all the modular buildings, of course, except for Market Street. Uh, lots of big Star Wars stuff, such as Ewok Village, the old fishing store. Everybody loves that set. Here we go. I can see why this minifigure is ranked so high or rated so high. This is the um, glam metal Batman. That thing is, is pretty awesome. The carousel, that's a good ride for sure. It's actually my, I think it's my wife's favorite ride um, for the creator expert series. Um, the Millennium Falcon, the UCS one, the new one from 2017, the Sandcrawler, the Sanctum Sanctorum, in which we have bought two of and be modularized for the Lego City, Krennic uh, Shuttle there. I'm actually surprised to see this so high, um, considering I haven't even seen Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle yet, or maybe we have. Maybe I just breezed over it, but Big Ben, uh, Lego Ninjago City Docks. We got some more minifigures here. I like this one here. This is the, the giraffe guy from the Lego Movie 2 minifig series. Then we have uh, Vader's Castle. That's actually a really nice set. And of course the Tumblr, that should be up high. And I don't know if I've seen the 89 Batmobile yet. Ninjago City, the Helicarrier. This is the, uh, the set I got when I was a kid. This is the King's Mountain Fortress all the way from 1990. So it's actually pre, I was even born. I'm born in 1991. So that set that I own is actually older than me. I actually don't have it assembled, but I do have that cool looking base plate that it sits on. We got two cargo trains. There's lots of promotional stuff in here, like the snow globe. There's another Batman minifigure with his lobster. I like that we sorted it like this because we're seeing uh, an eclectic mix of different themes all the way as we work down our list here. We can view 200 uh, sets per page right now. There we have the downtown diner and also Java's sail barge. Ah, the Simpsons house. Hmm, that should have been further up the list. And the same with the uh, Death Star 2. Curious. Some more promotional stuff. The uh, Ultra Agents uh, Mission HQ and Temple of Air Jitsu and a lot more minifigures here as well. Ranking quite high. What?
what? Why is this so low on the list? How is Edna better than the Firehouse headquarters? I doubt it. And the 89 Batmobile, man, I got to go here and I got to give this thing a five-star review because it's it's currently my favorite set. Here we go. That's one thing I got to do is, is, is do a little bit more ranking maybe myself or rating myself and then we can try and work up some of those up the list, some of my favorite sets up the list. Because I'm sure it's just skewed because not a lot of people are, are rating them maybe. Um, we got this as a really good poly bag. It's a good poly bag for sure. That's the VIP uh, Lego store. I haven't even built that yet to tell you the truth. And I've got all my brickheads um, logged on here too. Like I said, all of my Lego is logged on here, including the, the minifigs and the, and the base plates and, and everything like that and the promotional stuff. So there's the hot dog guy. I'd say he's better than Dean Thomas. Sorry to keep bringing you up, Dean, but hot dog guy's way better. Uh, the high-speed passenger train, we've got two of those. The King's Castle, here's one of my big base plate lots. I just put 40 in there. There might be more or less. I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't really don't, didn't count. I'm sure there's actually probably more of them. Eraser guy, I really like that minifigure. Uh, and then the train station, that's actually long gone. I built that into a mock, but I do physically own it. I have the instruction manual and the boxes. I keep uh, essentially all of my instruction manuals in all of my boxes. Hmm. Palace Cinema. I thought the Palace Cinema would be ranked a little bit higher. And especially the Quickie Mart, too. It would be rated higher than, uh, than where it's sitting on the list here. So that's the first page. That's the first 200 LEGO sets slash LEGO products slash minifigures. Another promo set there. The Battle of Endor. Uh, Majesto's Tower. Ooh, there's some loading there. Uh, Majesto's Tower. That's a set from 1994. That's one of the older sets that I have there for sure. The new train. I think a lot of these are on the very bottom, maybe because they haven't got any ratings at all. The pencil pot, it's pretty lame. Uh, the Safari Off Roader recently got that. The Boba Fett Brickhead, I will say that that is my favorite brickhead. Some more brickheads, some promo stuff. Whack and Bash, have a lot of fun with those. And some more brickheads. So you can see, oh, here's the Sith Troopers. We got eight uh, Sith Trooper battle packs, three Mandalorian ones. Didn't we see that way at the top not too long ago? I thought we did. It's sort of strange. Some buildable characters, the micro fighters. I even got my minifigure frames logged in here and a bunch of promo stuff and minifigures. So this is sort of wrapping up my collection. There's definitely bigger ones out there, but uh, like I said, my piece count is uh, is quite high and it ranks pretty high in the world. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what we could do is, like I said earlier, is we can break this down by theme. So if we wanted to see all the brickheads that I own, we can just see all the brickheads, right? Let's see here, theme. If we just wanna see all the Star Wars stuff, we'll just scroll down and we'll see that there's 74 Star Wars sets. And then we can scroll down and see all of them. And I've had them sorted by number of pieces this round. So you can see uh, the vast amount of Star Wars uh, stuff that I have in my collection here. Um, just sort of going down in price point because more pieces, more expensive essentially. I do have some stuff in my collection that I haven't received yet, but I know I'm gonna be buying right away on May the 1st. So I just figured I'd get ahead of the game and add them to my collection, such as those three helmets and the Dio. But that's enough of my collection. Let's check out what's on my wanted list and let's sort that wanted list by number of pieces. This is my number one thing on my wanted list and conveniently it's the biggest set. Uh, this is the uh, micro scale Hogwarts castle. I really want the Brigadi Chiron. And then there's just some other stuff that's sort of low priority, like I'm, I probably will never end up getting it, but I may as well have a wanted list that reflects what I actually want. I sort of regret not getting the Betrayal of Cloud City. Um, and I want to start to get into some more Technic stuff, such as the Land Rover Defender and the Brigadi and the Porsche. Uh, I missed out on getting the Voltron set. I really want that. And I will be getting this one soon, which is the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And there's lots of other stuff in here that's on my wanted list, such as the, uh, um, the Upside Down from the Netflix series Stranger Things, uh, the new A-Wing, a bunch of cargo and ships and uh, Star, Star Wars stuff, the Horizon Express, lots of different trains. Uh, this thing looks really cool. I've always been eyeing that up, but I've never pulled the trigger. And this one here for sure. Um, I definitely need this. This is the Republic gunship, and they are going to be issuing a new Republic gunship 
Um, that's going to be a UCS scale. And I really want to get the Vader's tie advanced as well. That's the other thing is like I was browsing the web, this website and you see so many unique sets that you would never think of getting because they're so old. But then as you browse through the sub themes, because that's how I did it, I, I pulled open the city or I pulled open the creator expert or Star Wars and scrolled through every single one and just clicked on all the ones I had essentially and all the ones that I wanted. This Black Pearl set looks really cool. Um, it just brings up a lot of, the website brings out a lot of sets or shows you a lot of sets that you would never plan on getting but now they're just in this massive wanted list. One other thing too is you can only log the minifigures that you own and the uh, official Lego sets that you own. So obviously I have a lot more pieces than what was actually uh, stated in my sets category here where it's uh, an overview of your collection. So this piece count would actually be a lot higher because it doesn't include all of the pieces that I bought on the prick pick a brick wall and also the um, the Bricklink website as well. So so I've, I've got a lot more pieces than that. Um, one thing that's really cool in this area here, actually, you can see view your sets that you own and you can go to an analysis table um, and you can see them in a table format and, and also you can see them in a graph format too so that you can see um, the metrics of your collection. So you can see collectible minifigures is the main thing I own. Well, duh, they're only like $4 each, 88 of them. And the next biggest thing is Star Wars and then City and then Creator Expert and so on and so forth. And it'll show you the percentage of those categories in which you own as well. You can see I own 100% of the Simpsons category because there's only two sets. There's the um, Quickie Mart and also the Simpsons house. So yeah, this is a really great great website where you can log your uh, collection. Just wanted to show you guys my collection, uh, the 593 sets that I own and the 1,305 minifigures that I own. And you can see I have them sorted by uh, largest piece count here first. And these are some of the largest sets that I own. And yes, my favorite Lego set at this current time is the 1989 Batmobile. That's why I ranked it a five in this video. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the very near future. Thanks a lot for watching. Have yourselves a great day and bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much. It's highly appreciated and make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my Lego sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned and we'll see you again. Bye for now.